Okay guys, time for a fish update. It is uh, about 10 o'clock at night, plenty dark. <laughs> uh, for me, I think this is the best time to see the fish. It is a little difficult with the, with the light, but uh, get the light just right and you get a better look at the fish, I find. So, let's get to it. Right here is the big ones. anymore they don't eat much I think they hit their max and that's it but they are huge and beauty look at that huh monsters okay this tank has uh, about 500 almost 500 I've lost a few uh, baby catfish in it And they're hungry. One thing different. We've got oxygen now. And a lot of it. Uh, the big tank there, the big fish don't have any oxygen in it. But all the other ones do. Look at that, huh? Look how uh, active they are. Hungry, hungry. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to see if this oxygen and the moving water, as you can see how fast that water is moving, it's going to make any difference to the growth rate. Another thing I've done is I cut back on how much I feed them. I only feed them once a day. Uh, instead of before I was feeding three, four times a day, just trying to get as much food into them as I could. Now I'm just gonna feed them once a day. And that's what I've done since I've had these, just once a day at night. Very cool, huh? Look at that, huh? Lots and lots of fish. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Cool. Anyone know what these are? Name that fruit. That looks cool, on it? Now, anybody who saw the first video when I put these in here, there was a small fish in there that I thought was a minnow. It turned out to be a gourami. And I had them out and looked at them. It was only about an inch long. Tiny little guy. I haven't seen him lately. Hopefully he's still in there. But uh, yeah, <laughs> be interesting to see if he uh, actually sticks around or not. I somehow doubt it, but you never know. Duty, huh? There's the snakehead. This water is a little bit yellow. This one's come up. Again, it's going to be interesting to see if the oxygen and the moving water. I think the moving water more than the oxygen will make a difference. Not a whole lot of action there, is it? Oh, 
want to nibble in. <laughs> That's about as much action as I've gotten out of these guys in a long time. <laughs> oh, I see the bubbles. Look at these guys. Check these guys out. They wait till the food goes in here. They're crazy. Better bring the camera back a bit. bigger fish there's about 50 in here and they're about so oh, I'd say at least 16 inches long let's see what they eat they're eating pretty good Ah, one more thing to show and then that'll be it. These are my bucket filters. I have six of them I think going now. It rained today. Just a little bit. I'll show you what this thing looks like on the inside. You see all that in there? All stuck to the shake cloth. The water is slowly falling over the edge of the PVC pipe. And then look at all that, huh? These things work awesome at knocking out the solids. That's all it does is knock out the solids. But it works really well. I'm gonna clean this one here now. But you can see how clean that water is on the top there and how much is stuck to that shade cloth and the further you get down into the bucket the more there is because the water the inlet is at the bottom works really really good uh, that's for sure There's the water coming out of that filter. The green line there, that's a, a bypass to control the flow. Uh, you want the water to be pretty slow, slow as possible, but still moving, you know? For me, with all the time, all the experimenting I've done, that's about right there, that much flow. And then all the rest from the pump is diverted through, through the screen when it doesn't go into the filter. Yeah, so yeah. That's the plumbing right there. There's a valve right here. 
it's uh, just about wide open. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Fish are doing good. Got oxygen now. Amazing, huh? <laughs> Ooh, look at that. I do wish it was uh, smaller bubbles, but you know, it's the only air stones I can get. And really, I'm not, I don't need to put oxygen in the water, although it, I'm sure it's appreciated. Getting the water moving is a good thing. And all of this is coming off of one pump, which is located in the workshop hi right, guys as always thanks for watching